I'm a huge fan of Coltrane's direct way of using chromatics. And in this line, Coltrane changes the harmonics by just using one chromatic note. Coltrane keeps impressing me with his insights, his sublime musicality and his direct way of playing. When Coltrane is using chromatic approach in closures and encircling, his lines are so direct that you almost do not hear the chromatics. I think Coltrane is using the old bebop in a new creative way that leads to a more direct way into the harmony. Do you agree with me that Coltrane left the bebop fuss behind? Love to hear from you in the comments below. I think Blue Train is a must listening to Coltrane's double time chromatic lines. You must check this out. This is where Coltrane gets extremely creative and takes bebop chromatics to a next level. Looking at this first Coltrane lick from Blue Train, the chromatics appear in the second bar which is the F major bar in the blues. Coltrane is playing a 2-5 on the first two beats of the bar, the G minor C7. And this is where the fun begins, working with Coltrane chromatics. Is Coltrane on the first two beats of this bar playing G minor C7 to F or is he playing twice G minor C7, G minor C7 into the F in the last bar? What do you think? The formula Coltrane is using on the F major is what Barry Harris would call the major bebop scale. Adding a step down between the 6th and the 5th, the D flat. Giving a lot of attention to that C, emphasizing that fifth of the chord, the C, which is the dominant tone. On the fourth beat of this bar, the dominant part of that F major, Coltrane is playing 100% C7 bebop. I'll get into how you can use these lines in a second. And that double chromatic line Coltrane is using just sounds amazing into the third of that F major 7. To give you an example of how you can use chromatics in these lines, I'll change this line a little bit. And using the C7 dominant scale makes a difference. Check out how I'm using the bebop scale instead of the double chromatics to that A. Only using one chromatic approach towards that A, the G sharp to A. I don't think one way is better than the other, but it really depends on what you want to hear. This may be a question for you out there. What do you prefer, the bebop line or the double chromatic line? Get a little bit closer to how Coltrane plays these chromatics and download the lesson manual PDF on Patreon. Full of Coltrane inspired chromatic licks and exercises in all 12 keys. <laughs> The second line I want to get close to, Coltrane again alters the chord progression with a little bit of chromatics. Playing this chromatic enclosure B, D to C, and it sounds like Coltrane is playing an F diminished 7 chord. The F7 is an upper structure of the E7 flat 9. The E7 flat 9 is leading towards the A half diminished chord, and the A half diminished chord is the upper structure of F7. That's how that works. It's a very small thing, and you can probably see it as chromatic enclosures too, but it can also be a chord change. This line is really unique because Coltrane is using the major bebop scale and the dominant bebop scale in one line. And on top of that, on that G minor 7, Coltrane is also using chromatics between the G and the F, the root and the 7th on the G minor chord. Then the question is, what is Coltrane actually playing? Is he playing G minor the whole way, or C7, or G minor C7? If I alter the chromatics a bit, I get into a more C7-like sound. I move the chromatic step in between E and D instead of the G and the F. And the target note D becomes much more clear when the chromatics are closer to it. And instead of using the bebop scale on the C7, I make a chromatic enclosure of that B flat. There's definitely not only one way of playing these chromatic lines. And I really suggest that everybody gets into the practice room and just figure out how they want to have their chromatics. All licks and lines are written out in all 12 keys in the lesson manual on Patreon. Get going and get creative and use Coltrane chromatics in your lines right now. Get it on Patreon. <laughs> Moving a bit further in the solo, Coltrane is using the same tools as he used earlier. The chromatic approach between the F and the G on that G minor chord, the major bebop scale, and the dominant bebop scale. But Coltrane is genius here. He moves the phrase a little bit in the timing. Moving the line an eighth note gives a completely new view of the material. Try doing this with your own lines but start them on a different beat. This is a really cool way of using your material more times, utilizing your practice even better and getting more out of the same time. A really great solo option to know is chromatics between thirds. 
in this line on B flat seven, Coltrane is playing chromatics on a minor third, the D and the F. Of course, you could do this on the major third too. Think about putting the chromatics as close to your target notes as possible. The chromatic approach in thirds and all the other licks and exercises are all worked into the lesson manual this week. There's a lot of full exercise and full licks using the material. Get in on the easy download on Patreon. <laughs> You see that Coltrane is using the same approach in this lick as he did in the previous lick. The F diminished 7 chord is the E7 going to A half diminished. You need to know all 12 keys. In this line Coltrane is again using the chromatic notes from the root to the 7th and the minor chord. But now on a C minor, earlier was the G minor. And again using the major bebop here on the C7. Earlier it was F major. What I really dig when I play Coltrane, when I'm analyzing, when I'm practicing Coltrane lines is how he is utilizing everything he knows all the time. Getting extremely creative with the material and moving it into new places in the music. The new positioning of the material can be in the timing or in the harmonics or both. Get further in your creative journey and get the lesson manual on Coltrane chromatics. All the exercises and licks are in all 12 keys for you to get an easy start in the key you want. Download it from Patreon. There's a lot more material on Coltrane here on dominance and how to get into all 12 keys playing. Check them out, play music, have fun.